Hello and welcome to the Cars.coza office where we have a Mercedes-Benz and a BMW. But if you look closely, these cars are quite special. The BMW has blue nail polish on the grill and the Mercedes-Benz has blue brakes. And that's because these cars are hybrids. Now technically they're what's known as PHEVs, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. And that's because you can plug them into the wall to charge the batteries to give you about 30 to 40 kilometers of pure electric driving. Now we think those figures are a bit optimistic, something which we plan to test today. This is Dave. You may know him from the mean streets of Twitter. He'll be driving the BMW and I'll be in the Mercedes. We're going to drive on pure electric mode to a location 20 kilometers away. Whoever runs out of electricity first loses. Right, Dave, ready for the least exciting pull-off in motoring history? Right, let's do this. Don't forget to unplug your car. With these contingency chargers, which can be plugged into any standard wall socket and which are included as a standard option with each car, you can fully charge each battery in about three hours. It's very straightforward to change the driving mode of each car and we made sure we were both in full electric mode. And we're off. Okay, right, system update. I have 22 kilometers of electric range, apparently. We've got a 20 kilometer drive ahead of us. This is going to be tight. So the route we've chosen today is very urban, no highways, so we're not going to get any cruising done, even though these cars will do up to 120 kilometers an hour in full electric mode, but we're going to be doing around 60, 70 the whole way to our destination. So it's a very real world test, I think, of these cars capabilities in full electric mode. Okay, so let's go through the basics. 810,000 Rand for this C350E exclusive model. And that is quite a bit more expensive than the Beamer. Not too much, Beamer's about 760, so it's about 50K more. Both cars take a very similar approach to hybrid motoring. Both have two liter four cylinder petrol engines. Both have electric motors. The Merc is a bit more powerful than the BMW, but it's got a slightly smaller battery actually. And that means that BMW claims a pure electric range of 40 Ks, whereas Mercedes only claims a pure electric range of 30 Ks. So on paper, at least the BMW should perform better. One thing's for sure, driving a car in pure EV mode with no radio is quite spooky. It is deathly quiet in here with just the slightest hint of road noise. Man, I don't know why I'm so tense. This is so tense. It's like the slowest race in history, but it's I'm so tense. <sighs> okay, oh, I'm down to 21. I've got 21 Ks. Dave, give me a count of your, your electric range there. How much you got left? Jiro, I've just looked down and I've just trickled down to 22 and I'm driving as lightly as possible. This is going to be very, very tight. Okay, I'm on 21. <laughs> this is super spooky because the rev needle for the petrol motor is just dead. It's just on zero. It hasn't moved. Yeah. It's so weird. So these hybrids from Merck and BMW, they're actually really smart. They're very good at being hybrids. They manage their power really well. They charge the battery when they need to. And if you put your route into the navigation, it will actually assess the route criteria. So if it knows you're going into an urban area later in the route, it'll actually save the battery for that area so that when you're in stop-start traffic, you're just running on electricity. They're really, really smart. 
but the party trick of a plug-in hybrid is that you can plug it in. You can charge the batteries out of your wall socket or out of your wall box at home, and then you get a free ride. Well, a very cheap ride anyway. So the current price of home electricity in Cape Town is 187 cents, one rand 87 for one kilowatt hour, one unit of electricity. This car takes about six and a bit units, which comes to about 11 rand 20 cents. So you can get a full charge. You can supposedly run 30 Ks on less than the price of one liter of petrol. That's, that's pretty good. So Chiro, I've discovered that being very light footed and quite clever with the braking. My, my range is going up. I'm now sitting at 25 kilometers until my battery is depleted. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, stop showing off, Dave. I'm on 20. <laughs> I'm on 19! <laughs> so what are the key differences between a 330E and the 320 upon which it is based? Well, if you look closely, there's an E badge just after the 330. There's little subtle high performance BMW hybrid badges. And there's a little blue tint on the grille. Other than that, it's a perfectly normal 3 Series. On the inside, there's a couple of graphics which show Max E drive, what the car is doing. And there's also a smaller boot. But other than that, this is just a normal 3 Series. The petrol motor in here is exactly the same as the one you'll get in a Mercedes-Benz C250. Same power, everything. And you can order that car in exactly the same trim line as this car, it's called Exclusive. But it costs 200,000 Rand less. 200,000. And that's before you buy a wall box, which you'll probably need to charge your car in your garage. And that costs about 40,000 Rand with installation. Okay, Dave, I've got 8Ks of electric range left. Tira, I'm sorry to hear that. I have 17. 17? <laughs> Yep, 17 kilometers of, of electric power to go. Um, I think I might be able to make it back to the office. What do you think? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> After a few more kilometers of riveting driving, we finally approached our destination. It's been about a 20k drive through Cape Town traffic and it looks like Dave and I are both going to do this on full electric, <laughs> full electric mode, which is super cool. Okay, we made it. And I've got about 7k's left of range. I think Dave's won this one. So, you make it on full electricity? Absolutely. Not one drop of petrol used? Nothing. Me neither. It's pretty cool. It is. Eh? I cool. dig it. It's a nice feeling. Yeah. Okay, so that means the winner will be determined by how much range we have left. How much did you have? 16 kilometers. Crap. <laughs> I had seven. Dave wins this one. Looks like the Beamer is better in full electric mode than the Mercedes Benz. But this is the thing about hybrids. They're really good at being self-contained and managing their own charge. But the party trick of a plug-in hybrid is that you can plug it in and then drive a certain amount of kilometers on electricity only. And in that case, the Beamer seems to be the one to have. But my problem with these cars is they cost so much more than their normal petrol-powered counterparts. And that's before you've bought the wall box for your house. But I just don't think, even if you drive in electric mode every day for 20 years, I don't think you'll ever recuperate that initial capital outlay. So it seems right now that hybrids are just a, a green status symbol rather than a revolutionary motoring solution. Which is a bit sad. That being said, there is something quite appealing about owning a hybrid car that looks just like a normal car. But bear in mind that even in full hybrid mode, these cars are not as efficient as their makers claim. Mercedes says their C350e will return figures of 2.8 liters to the 100, while BMW says their car will return figures of 1.9 liters to the 100. In reality, we achieve nowhere near that. 
Of course, there is a simple solution if you want to save money at the pumps and on the purchase price. It's called diesel. They're cheaper than their hybrid siblings and, on average, they use less fuel. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below and we'd love for you to join our community by subscribing to our channel.